Hi there, this is a short video on how to get a profile from an SDL in Fusion 360 via a cross section. Um, so if you like my stuff, please do subscribe, like and hit that notification bell. Um, you'll get notifications of new videos and you'll also help other people find the channel. So first off, you need to upload the file and uh, I'll just get... Uh, so I've been discussing this A10 with um, somebody on Facebook, so I thought we'd just grab one of the files and uh, drop it in. So then we just do the upload. Uh, so uh, I've just got to let this run, so we'll be back in a second. So there we go, so that's that uploaded. So for the record we're in Fusion 360 here. Um, so, okay, so we've got that, pro that model now, so if we open that. So we now have uh, what's effectively a surface model in Fusion 360. Um, so as you can see it's um, it's not a solid model and so now we want to create a uh, cross-section through that. So first of all we need to figure out uh, which way around we are. Okay so we need a cross-section so let's go look top down so, and I also want to turn on the origin so I know where that is, so that's handy. So if we um, uh, create a sketch on that plane, assuming, I know, so we need to create an offset plane first, so let's escape from that, so construct offset plane, so it looks like the nose of the model is on the bed, uh, or on the, on the uh, what's that, that's the ZX plane, so we're going to construct offset plane, select the plane we want and then uh, you can just eyeball it to whatever level you want. So let's say we want an offset plane there. Okay, and so uh, hit return and that's that offset plane created. So now I'm going to create a sketch on that offset plane and we want to uh, now, so we want to project Sketch uh, project include intersect mesh, mesh body. Uh, now we want to select the mesh body, so that's this. Um, combine curling lines, so that in theory should give me a cross section. So if I do that, now oh, so it's working. Okay, so for now I turn off the bodies. You can see here. Let's get a, a proper thing. So you can see here we now have a profile, um, and so if that's all you really want, um, then now you've got your profile. Um, obviously, if you generate them all at the same size, you could put scale on here. You can rescale it to whatever you want. So if we go to uh, sketch. Uh, I think there's a scale version in here. Um, modify. <sighs> Sketch scale. Um, so you could draw yourself a unit line, uh, or you could. Um, so if we select these entities here, there we go. Okay, so it's put it in as a, it has actually put it in as a uh, line, so there's how many lines you've got. You can select a point you want to scale it from, say, here. Uh, let's say the origin, scalar factor, two, there you go. It's now twice the size. Um, so you get the idea. Um, and with a bit of mucking about, you can then generate that, and you should, in theory, be able to. That should be uh, full on, and it looks like it's manipulatable as well, so which is more than I was expecting. So that's great. Maybe that's an improvement in Fusion that's come in recently. Um, so there you go. That's how you um, get a profile from an STL. Hope that's of help, and uh, I'm going to be uh, putting this in as a proper video on my YouTube channel which is uh, CNC Modeler UK 
I'll drop a link to the channel in here and it'll be up as a proper video um, soon. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope that help, that's helpful and um, please do like the video and uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this sort of stuff. Okay now, cheers.